Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Vic. Just today, going to do a quick video to share with you that like button title that we just added to our free starter pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, you can download the free starter pack by clicking the link in the description below. Once you've done so, you'll get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work because DaVinci will not know what font to replace it with. So just select all the font and then double click on them to start the installation process. Or you can copy and paste them into your font folder, either on your Mac or on your Windows computer. But if you already have the free starter pack installed and that's just an update, there is no need to reinstall the font. Just install the TRFX file and that will be good. So once that's done, you can just double click here on the TRFX file. It will prompt open this window. If you already have the free starter pack installed and that's just an update, it will ask you to overwrite. And if that's the first time, it will ask you to install. So just click either one of those. And now let's jump inside of DaVinci Resolve. All right, so once in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect then titles, video editor studio, and then you can scroll down to free starter pack and you will be able to find it in social media. So right here, you have the new YouTube like button. You can then just take it and drag it here in the timeline. Right now, if I play it, as you can see, I'm not getting a real time playback. I'm kind of stuck in the frame rate at about 12 FPS right now on a 30 FPS timeline. It's because there is quite a lot of animation on uh, this one and it's a bit heavy. So we're gonna need to cache in the title to do that. It's very easy. We're just gonna go over to playback, then render cache, and then we're gonna switch here from none to smart. I will just bring here that bar. And once that bar has switched from red to blue, that means that the title will be fully cached in and you will get real-time playback uh, without any lagging and without any issue. So right now, as you can see, we're getting 30 FPS without any problem as soon as the bar turned to blue. I always have my render cache set up to smart, so do the same. And also what I do is I have here set up show all video frame, meaning that basically it will not drop frame. It will just show me like a slower version of the title, uh, but it will basically just process in the meantime the title. So that's just something that I like to do. Now let's just jump into the functionality of that title. Right here in the inspector, we have a first the animation length second. Right now, by default, it's 2.5 seconds, but you can just adjust the timing of that animation to whatever lens you want. So right now, if that's too slow for you, you can have, for example, here one second. And now the animation, as you can see, is gonna be a lot faster. But I will recommend for this one to just give it the time because there is quite a lot of things that are happening. So I will suggest to not go below two seconds, uh, otherwise the animation, in my opinion, isn't that clean. There is a reason why we choose a specific timing, but then again, just feel free to do whatever you want. If you wanted to reset any parameter at any moment to the default value, you can just double click on it. And here, as you can see, you're just gonna reset it to the default value of 2.5 seconds. You can easily switch between having text or having numbers. Right now, by default, we are having number display for the likes, but we can switch here to text. And the text will switch from like to liked. Quick note here, when you're making a change in the inspector, as you can see, the bar is now red again. It's basically whenever you're gonna make some change, uh, DaVinci gonna need to recache the title for it to play back fully. So just make all the change you want while you have something in static and then just play it once and uh, the thing will be caching and you will not have any problem just play it through when you're gonna edit the rest. So just, you know, select one frame, do all the change that you want in static, and then you can just cache in the overall animation. Now for the first drop down, we have the usual size and position. So here we can just adjust the size and we can adjust position as stated. Then we have also the rectangle adjustment. So here you can play around with the level of that rectangle. Let's bring on some footage. If I bring some footage right here, you can see that now if I just decrease the level, we get uh, some transparency. And if I increase the level, we uh, add full solid rectangle. You can also adjust the soft edges. You can adjust the border width. And you can also adjust here if you want it to be a solid or just an outline. So here if we reduce the border width again, 
uh, as you can see, we're getting an outline now instead of a solid. So that's also another style that you can create. You can adjust the overall width and you can adjust the overall height. You can also adjust the corner radius. So right now, as you can see, that's not really a rectangle because the corner radius is all the way in. You can just reduce that and have more of a rectangle with rounded corner, for example. Now, the second drop down here is going to be the text. So you can switch the text that you want. So as you can see here, there is boxes for text when here it's text selected. Uh, in case you want to switch the language, for example, you can do that easily right here and have any language you like uh, very easily. You can do the same thing right here for the number to add your own numbers. So depending on, you know, how many uh, like you want to display, you can do that right there. And you obviously have control over like the font, the size, the tracking, the colors, etc. Then moving on, you have here the color. So that will be the color of the icon. So right now by default, we set a gradient, but you can choose to have a solid color instead easily by switching here to solid color. Right now we've set something red. Um, you can also choose between a gradient, horizontal gradient, vertical gradient, etc. So that's just also an option. Then we have the shadow right here. As you can see, there is already the shadow activated. If you just here decrease the shadow all the way down, uh, it will be deactivated. And if we increase all the way up, you're basically going to get another solid. So that can help you create maybe a 3D background, for example. So here, if we just displace it with the drop angle and then adjust the drop distance and having like some sort of 3D uh, box effect. So you can use it in multiple manner just to create like a 3D box like this one, or you can just uh, leave it as shadow here, for example, increasing the blur and you will have something more diffuse that will help the title to just pop a lot more. Then we have the glow and we can make the title pop a lot more by increasing here the gain and then having the gain either more diffuse or just more concentrate. Uh, and then you can play around with the blend to adjust the strength of that glow. And then lastly, we have the background right here. By default, it's not activated. Here, the opacity is at zero, but you can just increase that opacity to help your title uh, be separated from the footage, or you can have it as a solid background. By default, there is a fade-in animation for the background. You can deactivate it here with that toggle button. And you can adjust the overall size, position, soft edges, etc. of that background. So here, for example, we can just bring it down a little bit. And then we can adjust, for example, the width. We can adjust the height. We can adjust to invert it. Uh, there is quite a lot of things that you can do with that. You can create a vignette by inverting it. And then here, increasing the soft edge. And you're basically creating a vignette focusing on your title. And you can change the color. So there is quite a lot. And then lastly, you can choose your animation out. So right now, by default, it's a fade out animation, but you can choose between a bunch of different animations. So here, for example, we have a sync down and instead of fading out, the title is just going to sync down. So I'll let you play around with each of those animation and see the one that you prefer. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like us to make next. And I'll see you in the next one. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.